We have an interconference affair lined up for you today as the Golden State Warriors come in for this one. Hi, everyone. We're happy to have you with us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Well, guys, Draymond Green's competitive fire is one of the big keys for the Warriors. He said, that's one of my biggest responsibilities, to be the vocal and emotional leader of this team. We have a lot of guys that are more on the quiet side. If nobody was willing to take that role, we'd just be a bunch of church mice. I thought, why not me? It's a natural for me anyway. Kevin? He's the glue that holds the team together, DA. Always important to have a guy who can fire up his teammates. And both these teams can go deep into their benches. Chris, what's it like to play on a stacked team? A team that has uh, a huge number of players that can start in a lot of teams in the league but may have to come off the bench. It just relieves a lot of the pressure. As starters, you want to try to get a lead or play well, and you hope the bench comes in and just holds off the next team or, or comes in with a nice pace. But when you're playing with a great team, you can actually hope that bench comes in and do better than you. You can actually hope that, that bench comes in and kind of raises the pace on that other team. But most importantly, what those benches do, and I know for me in Sacramento, they really keep the integrity of the team in practice every day because they're out there beating the A team. So when they put on those special jerseys that everyone hates or has to flip their jersey inside out and go up against the starters, they're playing with that confidence that they play with every game and so you have to be prepared in practice. And so it makes every day you get better, not just on the game day. So for me, being on those teams with great benches helps you more in practice every day, which sets a culture of winning more so than just in the games. That's an excellent insight. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Durant and Draymond Green, talented forward duo. McCaw is out there with Clay Thompson. And it's Pachulia in at the center, locking down the middle. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Jonas Valanciunas unable to get his shot to go. Down to five on the shot clock. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one, that's, that's for sure. And you're right, they are precise in how they ran that play. Exceptional timing, that's all good stuff. You love it when a big man has those soft hands. Rarely any problem converting that close to the rim. And Serge Ibaka, remember, it was a first-team all-defense selection. But over time, I think he's become more of a scoring-minded player. And I think that's affected his impact defensively. One shot. The free throw drops from Ibaka. And Serge Ibaka, the league leader in block shots for two years in a row in 2012 and 13, but he sends him back at about half the rate he once did. Yeah, but even still, a pretty good shot blocker. You add in his finishing and outside shooting, and he's a player to be reckoned with. Now, here's Green. Picked by Pachulia. Over Ibaka. Pachulia, no luck. You got to give the D credit there. It affected him. He didn't have much room to get the shot off. Ananobi passes to DeRozan. Alan Judas with a screen on Thompson. Here's DeRozan. And the whistle blows. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. Raptors have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. One shot, gentlemen. And that free throw good from DeRozan. And in today's game, we're really so used to thinking of passing as the key to an efficient offense. But, but this Raptors club, they do it a different way. For them, the screen is the assist, giving their guard space to pull up or attack the rim. And here are the Raptors now. 
After the miss from Clay Thompson. Stolen by Durant. And here's the fast break. Durant leading the way. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. And look right there. That's not even fair. Durant just showing off his quickness and length on the defensive end. He gets the steal to jumpstart the fast break. And that replay presented by Under Armour showing us the fantastic steal that led to that fast break finish. Another unleashed chaos moment. Here's DeRozan. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Feeds it to Ibaka. Jacks up a three. The shot misses. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Durant at the elbow. Pass to McCaw. Back to Durant. And Thompson kicks to McCaw. Green with a screen on right. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And Kevin Durant good for three. Durant's got five now. I mean, it is insane that Durant shoots from behind the arc like it's a free throw. Just an easy motion from him that deep. Here's Ananobi, defended by Durant. A jump hook, and Durant sends it back. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Stolen by Thompson. Now the Warriors moving it up. And another basket for Golden State. In anticipation on the steal, I mean, Clay jump starting the fast break for his club. And Wright kicks to Ibaka. To the wing right side. Ananobi passes to DeRozan. And there's the call on Durant. That is his first foul of the game. Right outside. Pass to Ananobi. Just five to shoot to stop the run. And he lays it up and in. Here's McCall. Outside Green. On the wing, Thompson. Green, the screen. It's Thompson off the drive. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Oftentimes, we think of Thompson as an outside shooter, but he has the size and the skill set to score inside as well. And Wright kicks to Ibaka. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. Well, and you hear about the Warriors having, a, you know, an unfair amount of talent. I mean, there's a little bit of truth to that. This roster stacked when you look at uh, two MVPs at the heart and soul of guys like Draymond Green and, and Andre Iguodala. When you look at a sharpshooter like uh, a Thompson, I mean, uh, you know, of course, I mean, those guys can One play. Shot. But still, four All-Stars on the team has happened plenty of times in the past, but I, I would... I would beg to differ that that is, you know, misleading because uh, I don't know if the four players were individually as good as some of the guys on this team. Chris, other teams with four All-Stars that you referred to, the Pistons in the mid-2000s, and even more recently, the 2014 Atlanta Hawks. Still, the Warriors, four All-Stars, hard to match. Yeah, and part of it is that for the Warriors, you know, the four for the Warriors are all NBA-level talents. I mean, we're used to seeing two, three megastars on the team, but four legit all-NBA-level players, that's rare, even from a historical perspective. Outside DeRozan. Ibaka with a screen on Thompson. Here's DeRozan. And it's good off the back rim and in. DeRozan's got five points so far. That's his mindset. Attack, attack, attack whenever possible. Thompson against DeRozan. Green the screen. And Thompson kicks to Durant. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. He has seven. Uh, Durant knows he has the size to battle with anyone down low and just goes right up for the finish. The dish to Valanciunas. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. Screened by Valanciunas. Here's Ananobi, guarded by Green. 
Thompson against DeRozan. Over Thompson. Makes a big high pounce and goes in. That's seven points for DeMar DeRozan. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Durant with it. Seven points in the game. Pachulia with the screen on DeRozan. Three. That shot, no good. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Wright dishes to Valanciunas. He kicks it to Ibaka. Screened by Valanciunas. On an OB, no good. The Warriors trailing. Here's McCall. Over in the corner, Green. Another three for Golden State. And that's what's good about Draymond. He doesn't shoot every three that comes his way. He tries to only take the one that he likes, usually open. Valanciunas passes to DeRozan. Poked away. Here's McCall, guarded by Wright. Thompson in the corner. Inside, here's Green. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And it's a three-point warrior lead. Oh, and fantastic vision. I mean, Thompson quickly locates the open man. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Well, you just watch the way that Klay Thompson shoots, and you're surprised when the ball doesn't go in. <laughs> I mean, one thing with Klay, too, in his shot, he believes it's always going to go in. More importantly, so does his teammates. And he's got that shooter's mentality where he just will continue to trust in his mechanics. And I don't think he gets enough credit for just how hard he works to maintain that shot. And some changes here for the Warriors. Iguodala comes in for Jaja Pachulia. And it's Livingston in for Patrick McCall. Screened by Valanciunas. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Iguodala outside. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And the Warriors lead by six. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. It's Powell on the wing. Dishes to Valanciunas. Looking to end the run. Powell called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. That one on Thompson. The Raptors shot their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And Chris, it's a player's league. And yet the officials, of course, have an impact on games. I'm thinking of a certain game six back in 2002. In your opinion, how does the league ensure greater consistency with the officiating of games? Well, I promised myself, Kevin, thanks for bringing up 2002, that I would never think about that yeah, aloud. You know, I, I'm going to have to go lay on somebody's couch uh, after, after we do this game right here. Sorry. But um, I think the league just has to be transparent. They have to let fans know when the ref has messed up. We're all human. So I think it comes into play when you aren't transparent, when you aren't honest with your fans, because we have the smartest fans of any sport, I believe. And so I, I think transparency is good. 
but human error is always going to be in there as long as it doesn't go back to the type of human error we saw in 2002. But Chris, I do sense that that, that is a goal of theirs, and, and bit by bit they're getting toward that goal. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, you know, I believe that uh, our league has done some great jobs when it comes to advancing uh, referees and, and how the game uh, is officiated. When you look at not only do we have uh, the referee center uh, back uh, in, in New York where the referees now can go and get help and the game is faster and also you know we have three refs on the floor and so and we have the best condition refs and so I, I think the game is just going to be better because we have passionate refs we have passionate um, officials and, and passionate players and we're going to work together to make sure that this game is the best for every fan uh, to be presented to and also that every player has a chance to win uh, win a championship and they'll have their heart broken here's Livingston the Raptors knocking down the tray Green the screen Iguodala kicks to Green. Lock at six. Over Valanciunas. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Seven points for Draymond Green. Talk about loving the challenge. Draymond converting in traffic. Valanciunas with a screen on Iguodala. Foul for three. A rebound by Iguodala. Warriors leading by six. Over to the wing. Now here's Livingston. He's guarded closely. Offline with the baseline jump. The Raptors have gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. And here is Powell. There's the pick. That one doesn't go. Good defense by Iguodala. Thompson dishes to Green. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Valanciunas. Nogueras checked in for Valanciunas. Then for the Warriors, Kevin Durant comes in for West. And Nick Young is subbed in for Thompson. One fifty-seven left to play in the first quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. Raptors trail by eight. It's Nogueira, top of the key. Now here's Powell. There's the screen. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. This is his first free throw of the game. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% clip. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. Warriors leading by six. Young outside, Nogueira with the steal. Here's Van Vliet. He's covered by Livingston. Van Vliet passes to DeRozan. Nogueira kicks to Powell. Screened by Ibaka. Powell inside. Defended by Durant. The shot by Powell, no good. Pulls up for three. And Young with the basket on the assist by Durant. Young's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Toronto's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Nogueira kicks to DeRozan. It's stolen by Green. Iguodala outside to the inside. Livingston dishes to Durant. 
and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Some tough D in the paint, getting between him and the bucket and stopping the easy goal. And that's already a second foul. He may have to spend some time on the bench to stay out of early foul trouble. You know, yeah, I, I think back to when I was fortunate enough to join the Warriors as a rookie, uh, made the playoffs as a rookie. Uh, uh, and then uh, the next year I didn't two come shots. back, and it was strange to see uh, them not in the playoffs for such a long time. But uh, look at how far this franchise has come since those days. The free throw drops for Powell. And the Warriors, as you said, Chris, have come so far from their years of despair back in the 90s. Uh, couldn't happen to a better, more supportive group of fans. Uh, let me tell you something. From the days I played there, or of course, before that, uh, the Warriors fans have always been known as some of the most loyal fans in the NBA. Whether the team is up, whether the team is down, whether it's Dick fan, or whether it's sunny outside, or whether it's a storm, these are some of the loudest fans, one of the loudest arenas uh, in all sports. A wide open look here for Ibaka. Connects from three point range. Ibaka's got nine. All that practice on the positioning and timing of the catch and shoot paying huge dividends for Ibaka. Screened by Young. For three, Durant. The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. Igudala's got three assists now in this one. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. The Warriors on top, up nine. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And certainly one of the game's bigger personalities, Draymond Green, had this to say about his approach to leadership. Most importantly, it's just about how the guys respond to me. And, uh, you know, just really bringing that energy and that attitude and that fire each and every night, every day, whether it's in practice, whether it's, you know, in the game, whatever it is, just always bringing that energy and that passion. A heart and soul guy, Draymond Green has the kind of spirit guys that everyone else can just kind of feed off of. Yeah, his talents and contributions now being appreciated. He's forced his way into the discussion of top 10 players in our league. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats-wise? I mean, you saw it. That barrage of threes has them grooving here after one. Well, there's not enough defensive pressure on the perimeter. We'll see in the second quarter if that gets corrected. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Livingston is out there with McCall. And it's Durant. And it's Young. And it's Looney in at the center. Here's McCall. There's a screen. And play stop. That's whistle screen. on what looks to be an illegal screen. Even though that wasn't their best possession, they really played smart basketball there by not turning over the ball that much. Raptors trail by seven. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. There's the steal. And here we go. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. Leaving the rest of the field in the dust. Well, while he's out there making the play, everyone else is watching. Solid individual effort right there. And Nick Young loves scoring and lightheartedly jokes about his defense. Oh, yeah. We always want players to be so serious about the game. There's a flip side to that. A teammate like Young who comes in every day with a smile on his face. It can lighten the mood in the locker room. And when you look at the younger generation of players coming in now, Chris, of course, you do the interviews, you see them, you talk to them. Is it easy for you to relate to these younger players? Yeah, it's definitely easy to relate to them. I think that uh, our generation had a lot of influence on their style, uh, their uh, kind of expression of self, just as the generations before us did. And we have that uh, unique bond. I think that's one of the advantages I have that I've known some of these players since they've been young. I know their habits. I know that they're good mm -hmm. kids, good individuals, um, and they just express themselves differently. You know, do I like uh, the way they come into or come into a game dressed, looking like 
I don't know, Ozzy Osbourne and Run DMC mix. Nah, I don't like that. But <laughs> people used to say that about my style and my clothes too, Kevin. I'm sure they did that about you too, you know. So, man, I, I just love it. I just take it as uh, we have some of the best players uh, that fans have seen. And I'm just enjoying uh, everything from the wild clothes to the music to their style. But, uh, no, it's not hard to relate to them, man, because uh, they're all pretty good kids. Uh, Chris, just for the record, they, they never said that about me. I always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you already, you always set the tree. <laughs> Shot clock at two. Here's Van Vliet. Rejected by Young. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Warriors leading by 12. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Durant for three. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. It's first triple of the second quarter. Third of the game. Toronto calls timeout. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. Wow, it's time for them to switch up their defense on because what they've been doing so far is not working. And you knew after the big decision to come to Golden State from Oklahoma City that Kevin Durant would feel some heat from fans around the league. And overall, he did a good job, I thought, C. Webb, of tuning it out. And he had an incredible year, his first year with the Warriors. You're right, Kevin. And fans can hate the fact he joined a great team, but it clearly was the right move for him. I mean, look at these numbers. A career year in so many categories. Field goal percentage, blocks, rebounds. I mean, he just played well last year. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Now Powell. He has seven. Screened by Ibaka. Five on the clock. DeRozan against Durant. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. About three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. DeRozan passes to Van Vliet. Powell with it, and Young picks him up defensively. Kicks it to Ibaka. The pass to Van Vliet. Screened by Ibaka. The feed to Powell to end the drought. Hits it from three point range. Powell's got 10 points. Oh, a simple screen, but there was a defensive mix up that left the man wide open. Looney kicks to McCaw. Golden State moving it around. Livingston and DeRozan sends it back. Baca against Durant. Five to shoot. Knocks it loose. Powell with the steal. He feeds it to Nogueira. Passes it to DeRozan. It's Nogueira top of the key. He dishes it to Powell. Ibaka with a screen on Durant. Just four to shoot. Here's Powell. And it's Durant with the rebound. He's not the only one to blame for them being behind, but he hasn't helped their cause much. Young in the corner. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Young's got six points in the quarter. He played a very solid first quarter, and now he's taking it up a notch here in the second. Powell kicks to Ibaka. Outside to Rosen. Over Livingston, poke loose. Young in the corner. Another three for Golden State. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. DeRozan with it. He's got nine. Screened by Ibaka. And DeRozan kicks to Ibaka. 
pass to Van Vliet. Screened by Ibaka. Here's Livingston. Nogueira pulls it in. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Here's Van Vliet. Feeds it to Nogueira. Screened by Ibaka. Shot clock at six. Outside to Rosen. And again, Toronto, no luck. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 14-3 run. Durant, the pass to Looney. And it's plucked by Ibaka. An elite rim protector, Ibaka has the highly desired combination of athleticism and timing. Nogueira kicks to DeRozan. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. Here's Powell. Can't hit that one. Good defensive work there by Young. Pass to McCaw, and that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. So close to getting the steal there, but the deflection equally as effective. Oh, man, yeah, he read it all the way. He got a jump on it. Very close. Ananobi, he's checked in for Toronto. Green, he's checked in for Golden State. Clay Thompson comes in for Sean Livingston. Here's McCaw. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Looney kicks to Durant. Just five to shoot. Off the screen. Nogueira pulls it in. Nogueira's got three rebounds so far in the game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Van Vliet kicks to Ibaka. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Durant's got three rebounds so far in the game. Here's McCall, the dish now to Green. He kicks to Durant, back to Green. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That's his first foul. The Raptors making a switch here. Miles is checked in. Andre Iguodala, he's checked in for the Warriors. And the wide open shot from Green. That falls. Nice time feed out, that out. time from Andre Iguodala. Iguodala has got his fourth assist in this one. And the Raptors call time here. Well, we know that some players can get uh, pretty tricky out on the court. And that is the diplomatic way of saying it, Chris. Which players do you feel kind of take advantage sometimes of the rules? Well, and I think, you know, these are the guys that you would hate to play against, but you'd want to play with. And, you know, first people that come to mind are the Draymond Greens, uh, the Matt Barnes, Stephen Adams, uh, just because he's physical. Even Chris Paul, the way that he stays on the refs, the way that if you reach on him while he's trying to steal the ball, he'll grab your wrist and let you know, don't do that again because it really hurts what he's doing to you. So <laughs> there's so many players that do that. And, and the wiser, the smarter, the longer in the game that you play, uh, the more of those tricks you'll be able to pull out, all those veteran tricks. So those guys come to mind. Here's Wright, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Wright sets a screen. Pirtle with the ball, now Green defending. Here's Wright, misses and the dry spell continues. Warriors leading by 21. Iguodala dishes to Thompson. They set the screen. Green the screen. Five on the clock. Thompson in the post with the second effort. And Green with the lay-in. Green's got five points now in the quarter. And this is why Green is a valuable piece. His ability to snag offensive rebounds is so impressive. Let's make happen. Dishes to Miles. Drills it from outside. You have to extend the defense there unless you want him to punish you repeatedly from beyond the arc. Iguodala, the pass to Green. Oh, 
Rebound by the Raptors. Right outside. And the wide open shot from Miles. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Look at this. I like this team basketball. Keeping the ball moving until they find the right shot. Thompson against DeRozan. And Thompson kicks to Iguodala. Green with a screen on right. They kick it out to Green. This one for three. Again, the miss by Green. A defender nowhere near him, and he still can't hit it. Uh, uh, he wants that one back. Not going to go that time. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Well, that takes physical ability, good timing, those two things that he possessed. Well, he hasn't been very precise at all this quarter. DeRozan with it. And it's Iguodala picking him up. They set the pick. And here's Miles. Six points for him. There's the pass to Ananobi. Durant with some nice D. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Well, not all defenses are constructed to protect the mid-range area. Nicely done that time. Now here's Green. 12 points for him. Beyond the arc. And Kevin Durant good for three. Durant's got six points in the quarter. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. And DeRozan kicks to Miles. Here's Ananobi. Shot off the screen. He hits the back iron and timeout, sinks the timeout. shot. Ananobi's got his second bucket. Artful use of the screen there. Gains the separation he needs for a good look. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. The Raptors making a switch here. Van Vliet's checked in. And Golden State also making a change. Young's checked in. Warriors leading by 18. Iguodala kicks it to Looney. At the elbow, Green. They set the pick. Young from outside. And that one is off. And Toronto will come the other way. And Wright kicks to Van Vliet. Passes it to Ananobi. Here's Van Vliet. Kicks it to Pirtle. Shoot it! And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got three rebounds so far in the game. Young outside. And here's Iguodala outside. Trail by 18. And Wright kicks to Miles. Back to Wright. 54 seconds left to play here in the half. Bertle sets the pick for Wright from deep. It's hauled in by Andre Iguodala. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jump. Good recognition by Draymond. I mean, he sees that he has a defender right where he wants him. Oh, she wrote. Well, you hear the term coach on the floor often, but it's usually reserved for point guards, but Draymond Green deserves that title too. He's the general for this team when calling out defensive plays and assignments. I mean, Draymond essentially just helps run the team's defense every trip down the floor. Gentlemen. 
no good on that one. And with Draymond, a lot of guys can just bark out stuff on defense. But you know what? He studies the opposition. He watches a lot of tape. And really, he is so prepared, Chris, going into a game. Well, you don't get considered to be one of the best defenders in the league without working like Draymond. I mean, he'll break down film on specific players to learn their tendencies. If you miss an assignment, he'll get right in your face about it, regardless of who you are. As competitive a guy as Draymond Green is, sometimes he can get in his own way. There's no doubt about that. Not entirely his fault. The calls don't seem to fall in his favor a lot because he is so physical. And uh, perhaps, uh, Chris, because of his, of his reputation, we don't even need to go into his natural shooting motion. <laughs> yeah, you mean with the leg? But, I mean, but with Draymond, that just comes with the territory. He presses buttons of refs and opposing players, and sometimes with the fans. I mean, yeah, he'll lose out on calls. But at the end of the day, he's a guy that everybody in the league hates but will want on their team. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. And you see he's not worried about what's on the scoreboard. He just wants to go ham each possession. And so it's the Golden State Warriors controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Draymond, of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. You know, I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. A tremendous start for Kevin Durant. He had 18 points, three steals, and four rebounds. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? In terms of their offensive performance, that was a very well-played half of basketball. Good ball movement off the ball, hard screens being set, and they found the guy for the open look. That's how they were able to shoot such a tremendous percentage from the field. With that fluid, efficient offense, they'll be tough to catch in the second half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Way too soft in the paint defensively. They were all late on their rotations. Obviously, that's a recipe for getting cooked. And you know I like eating that barbecue chicken. They got to do better, Ernie. And we're just about ready for the start of the third quarter. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you. The evening commute has plenty of people on the move here tonight in Toronto, where we welcome you back to On 2K. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. And through the first two quarters, he was extremely aggressive. Picked up a number of steals. Oh, well, you take some chances. Sometimes you can get burned, but you hope more often than not that you can be a catalyst for your team. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Warriors leading by 20. Ananobi the three, with Ibaka playing the four. DeRozan out there with right, and it's Valanciunas in at the five, down low. They're the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Now here's Thompson, the feet to Pachulia. Six to shoot. Pachulia with the screen on Valanciunas. They get it again. Here's Green. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Well, he's played a smart and strong game. His field goal percentage proves it. And right kicks to Valanciunas. He feeds it to Ibaka. Right sets a screen. Here's Ananobi, defended by Durant. Here's Ibaka. Offensive rebound. Pass to DeRozan. Screen by Ibaka. 
Abaka sets the pick for DeRozan. Abaka with a screen on Green. Outside DeRozan. Pass to Ananobi. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. Ananobi's got seven. Uh, and no fight left in the defense there after a teeth-rattling pick. And Thompson kicks to Durant. Durant drawing the double team. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Right outside. Right with a screen on Pachulia. Just five on the clock. And it goes down two points. And that's 11 points for DeMar DeRozan. Warriors leading by 17. McCaw kicks to Green. Pachulia with the screen on Ibaka. Here's Green. Pachulia. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Oh, always keeping his head up. Draymond rarely misses the open man. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And Wright kicks to Ibaka. DeRozan in the corner. Over Thompson. DeRozan can't get that one to fall. The Warriors have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Oh, in just a few years, it's, it's safe to say Steve Kerr is uh, one of the most respected coaches in the NBA. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And the Raptors call time here. And for Kerr, rare is it to see someone jumping from the commentator booth into being one of the top coaches in the NBA. Well, we all knew that Steve had a great mind for basketball, so it isn't surprising to see his success. It's just rare to see a coach have this much success so quickly. I mean, it seems like he's making coaching look easy. Well, he just can't get anything to drop today, and his team is hurting as a result. He should concentrate on moving the ball around and, and getting his guys involved. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Ananobi. He has seven. Screened by Valanciunas. Shot clock at five. Wright dishes to Valanciunas. McCaw grabs the miss. Pretty high percentage look with the D playing off. Just couldn't knock it down. And it's good. Two points. But Julia's got six. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Right down low. He's against Green. And that one's good. Right. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Durant the pass to Thompson. Green with a screen for Thompson. The pass to McCaw. Green, the screen. Five on the clock. Goes up at the stripe, and it's Golden State with another. Absolutely. Positively, no D there. If they're going to guard them like that, this is going to be a long game for them. And Wright kicks to DeRozan. In the corner, it's Valanciunas. Screen by Ibaka. Here's Ananobi. And it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got rebound number five here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Now DeRozan following Durant's three-point attempt. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go. Thompson heading to the hoop. Count it. He's got 12. 
Are such an impressive score in Arsenal. Thompson with the nice teardrop. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Toronto's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Passes it to Ananobi. Alan Judas with a screen on Durant. Here's Ananobi. The leaner falls for him. That was a difficult shot. How about the leaner? Only the guys with the sweetest of strokes can pull that off in traffic. McCaw kicks to Durant. Here's the screen. Picked by Pachulia. Baseline jumper. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. All he needs is a screen to create just a sliver of daylight. Durant will take it from there. Right dishes to Ibaka. Feeds it to Valanciunas. That's tipped, and it's out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by Durant. Valanciunas with the ball. Now Green defending. He doesn't get the block, but the physicality of Draymond Green helping to affect the shot. On the wing, Thompson. A three-pointer off the mark. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Green against Ibaka. He dishes it to Valanciunas. And there's the call on Pachulia. That's his first foul. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Igudala comes in for Patrick McCall. Here is Ibaka. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Ananobi. Five to shoot. Over Durant. And that one comes up a bit short. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Golden State moving the ball around. And Thompson kicks to Igudala. Outside Durant. Igudala with it. It's Ibaka picking him up. From deep, Green. Yeah, still struggling to find the bottom of the net from three-point range this half. They were much better in the first. Right outside. Here's Valanciunas. And again, Toronto no luck. Uh, even with the miss, that's a jumper he'll keep taking. As long as they keep leaving him open. Igudala kicks to Green. There's the pick. It's Durant on the wing. Shot clock at five. The open shot. Green. No good off the front iron. Toronto's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. DeRozan passes to Wright. Alan Junis sets a screen for Wright. Pass to Ananobi. The dish to Alan Junis. And the Raptors miss again. A frustrating start to this quarter for him. Kicks it out to Igudala. And it's off from three-point range. Toronto's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Whoa! Wow. And he just glides to the hoop on his drives. DeRozan's got plenty of force to his game. Don't get me wrong, but he makes everything look so effortless. Now here's Durant. 20 points for him. It's tipped. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Yeah, another turnover, but guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. And the Raptors with some changes. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Ibaka. And Norman Powell subbed in for Ananobi. And Golden State also making a change. West is checked in for Green. Now here's Powell. He's got 12. Right dishes to Valanciunas. And he uses the glass on the layup. 
And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Raptors trail by 21. And Wright kicks to DeRozan. Miles the pass to Powell. Valanciunas with a screen on Durant. It's Powell on the wing. Defended by Durant. Durant with the steal. To the middle. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. Two Look, shots. he runs, jumps like a gazelle. Eagle Dollar, Elbow. a special person two. and athlete. Well, you know, some people say Andre Iguodala is on the decline as an offensive option. But his impact on the floor is still clear as day. He keeps the ball movement with his great spacing. He keeps that tempo and that pace. And he's still a strong finisher because he only takes high percentage shots, shots that he's comfortable with. The free throw drops for Igudala. And with Igudala, he isn't going to be a double digit scorer again, it seems, the former All Star. But you know what, Chris? He is still incredibly valuable, so productive just with his floor presence. Igudala is a perfect example, Kevin, of a guy who can change the game without even putting up a lot of stats. The defense that he brings to the table, that isn't slowing down either. And Igudala drops them both. Oh, he turns it up. And though Iguodala has become a long-range shooting threat, he still managed to struggle from the line. Now here's DeRozan. 13 points in the game. Nogueira dishes to DeRozan. Here's the screen. Pass to Van Vliet. Just four to shoot. Floats one up. And it's sent back by West. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. And the Raptors with the ball. They grabbed their own miss. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. West a screen on Miles. Livingston. A second chance effort. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. So close to getting the block there you, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe Toronto's gone one of three from downtown since halftime guys are looking for a spark here yeah a cold stretch offensively for sure Iguodala outside he kicks to West. The turnaround. Powell pulls it in. Toronto's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're 6 of 13. And the pass to Van Vliet. And he's good on the three ball. Van Vliet's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Warriors leading by 22. Livingston kicks it to West. Nick Young on the wing. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Toronto's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. DeRozan with it. And Young picks him up defensively. Here's Nogueira. From down in the low post, it goes. Nogueira's got his first points in this one. The Warriors shooting around 44% in this third quarter. Picked by West. Looney down low. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Toronto's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Van Vliet passes to DeRozan. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. And you want to talk about high-volume scores. Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a mission, putting his mark on this game in a big way.
One shot. One shot. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pick by West. Iguodala dishes to Young. They set the pick. Iguodala against DeRozan. Off the screen. Iguodala with the bucket. Iguodala has got seven. Oh, the concentration of Iguodala allows him to score with the hand in the face. Powell with the screen. Van Vliet kicks to Powell. Left side, DeRozan. Great look, but off the mark. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. The Warriors on top, opening up a huge gap. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Now let's take a listen on head coach Dwayne Casey. Don't give in to those semi-fast breaks and get mismatched. We got to sprint back. We don't want to have to just give in to a mismatch. That's what they want. And Dwayne Casey extremely focused on what he feels are cracks in their transition D. Hey, creating space on the fast break. Something every team practices. They not only have to flip from offense to defense faster, they have to communicate much better. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. The star tandem of Durant and Green are inside. Livingston and Thompson are the guards, and it's Young in at the small forward. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Powell. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Warriors leading by 21. Dishes it to Green. And Green slams it in. And Kevin, he's practically doubling his assist totals over the back half of his career. Durant's a more than willing facilitator. Whatever helps his team win, he's willing to do it. There's a screen. Here's Powell. To the right side. Here's Van Vliet. He's covered by Livingston. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. And it's Thompson with the jam. Oh, oh, the long arms of Livingston. He just snatches the ball. I mean, he kick starts the fast break. Kicks to Powell. It's Pirtle top of the key. The feed to Powell. Six to shoot. Here's Van Vliet. Great D that time from Green. The Warriors have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Durant. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. 24 points for Kevin Durant. Oh, and a nice look by Livingston. Keeping his eyes up locates the man. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Powell with it. Now Green defending. It's deflected. Here's Van Vliet defended by Young. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Livingston kicks to Young. Green, the screen. Young, right side. And he banks in the layup. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. There's the pick. Powell, the pass to Purdy. And it's good, two points. Too many inches being given up in that matchup. I mean, he's got no chance of putting a stop to that layup. Livingston dishes to Durant. Over Miles. And Kevin Durant again. 
Durant's got six in the quarter. Then what is crazy is that it doesn't even look like it's hard for Durant out there. It's like he's bored with dismantling every defense he sees. Powell inside. He's covered by Thompson. And Thompson sends it back. Durant against Miles. Thompson for the triple. Warriors the rebound. Rob. Here's Van Vliet. He's covered by Livingston. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Livingston is running. Uh -oh, such a fluid runner. I mean, you had to check Livingston out in the open court. Van Vliet kicks to Miles. Defended by Young. And it's Pirtle at the elbow. Over Green. Pirtle's shot is off. Warriors have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Thompson outside. Unloads from 13. They get it back. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. With that violent pinball style, Draymond draws a high number of fouls inside. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And now one of the few areas where Draymond has not improved all that much is knocking down the freebies from the charity strike. Both teams will make substitutions. And he makes both free throws. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Raptors have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. And that'll be his third foul so far. <laughs> now here's DeRozan. Fires for three. Shots good by Ibaka. And many people consider Ibaka to be the NBA's premier 3 and D big man. In fact, we see more and more teams searching for an Ibaka of their own. Now, here's Thompson. Green with a screen on Ibaka. Off the pick. Tries again. And that's two points on the layup. Green's got 21. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Screen by Ibaka. Now Powell. Here's Van Vliet. Just five on the clock. That one falls. The Warriors have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Young outside. He feeds it to Durant. Thompson passes to Green. Some nice passing by Golden State here. From deep, Igudawa. That shot off the mark. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Van Vliet kicks to Powell. Pass to DeRozan. Back to Powell. Lock at six. A floater, and he sinks the layup. Oh, look at the soft touch on the teardrop. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Thompson dishes to Green. Green draws the double, and Young kicks to Igudala. A three pointer, no good. Well, this has not been his best effort. He's lucky his teammates have been there to bail him out. Feeds it to DeRozan. He dishes it to Pirtle. Pass to Powell. Here's the screen. Back to DeRozan. Over Green. 
Raptors with a fresh shot clock. Here's Pirtle. The dish to Ibaka. Pass to Powell. And Ibaka kicks to DeRozan. The pass to Van Vliet. Puts up a three. A rebound by Igudala. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Yeah, coming off of a good pick, you want to get that. When he gets the separation he needs, I know he would love to have that one back. Now here's Green. Outside for Durant. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Van Vliet. Screened by Ibaka. Powell kicks to Van Vliet. This is to DeRozan. Screen. And there's Finger the wing. whistle. Illegal oh, screen. Well, it, it had been a while since his last turnover. He has played very solid ball up until that point. Kevon Looney is checked in for Nick Young. The Warriors have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Green, the screen. Igudala, the pass to Thompson. Green with a screen on DeRozan. And Thompson kicks to Igudala. Off target with his three. He's trying to help him add to this lead, but he just can't find his touch. On an OB. Here's Ibaka. And it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. He kicks to Thompson. Back to Durant. Green, the screen. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Warriors the rebound. Goes back up, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. And yeah, a good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half, doing a great job at the line. There's the pick. And Ibaka kicks to right. Screened by Ibaka. Right down low. Looney on him. That one a little long. The defense recognizing the situation and getting right in his face once he got close to the bucket. Here's Ananobi. And the Raptors miss again. The Warriors shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Iguodala kicks to Durant. The feed now to Iguodala. Green, the screen. Durant against Ibaka. Shot off the pick. It's hauled in by the Raptors. DeRozan's got four rebounds now tonight. In the corner, right with it. Second chance shot, and it's laid in by Ibaka. Ibaka's got five points now this quarter. Yeah, and the ability to generate points off offensive rebounds, something Ibaka did a lot earlier in his career before he started spending so much time on the perimeter. Now, here's Thompson. Looney kicks to Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Stolen. Here's Hananobi. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. And how about the explosiveness he shows? Going from the offensive to the defensive end in a blink. There's the screen. Up off the screen, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. 
<laughs> Such a high IQ for this guy. Kevin Durant knows where everyone is on the floor at all times. Screen by Ibaka. Kicks it to DeRozan. Unloads from nine. Here's Ananobi. And Durant sends it back. Well, you aren't going to sneak that shot past Durant, not with the reach that he has. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Warriors. And one area that stands out that uh, we've seen tonight from them, their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. I, I think it sparked their offense. Uh, it, it deflates the opposition. And when you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's pretty hard to overcome that defensive pressure down the stretch. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Kevin Durant. And the way he rebounded, he surely was a spark for the team as he was securing everything that came off the iron. I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. That free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. And when you watch Kevin Durant, perhaps the most astounding thing about him, C-Webb, is just how easy he puts up points. He does it in a number of ways, and sometimes it's quiet, and sometimes it's gigantic and loud. But, uh, you know, Chris, the points are always there for him. Well, look, he's going to go down as one of the best scorers ever to play. I mean, it's kind of strange to say that Durant gets overlooked in his ability to score by some. But I'm not sure if we'll ever see another player like Durant for quite some time. The shot and game clock separated by four. Six on the shot clock. They set the pick. And DeRozan kicks to Ibaka. That one goes in. Yeah, high percentage look there for Ibaka. He can be automatic in there when given room. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Kevin, how did you guys get this win tonight? Well, we had to get stops. You know, those guys, they got so many options. So many good players, man. We just had to rally around each other and get stops. Yeah, you guys played your best ball at the end and got the win. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.